I... I'm... He's my father. Hi. I haven't seen you around here. No, I just came in from Pennsylvania. Well, welcome to Chicago. I'm afraid to say your dad's not doing too well. He's weak. A little weaker every day. Would you mind if I just sat with him? Oh, no. Not at all. Victor's papers, hoping that I would find something that could help us. Yeah? What'd you find? Nothing. However, the other day, Kathy told me that Sloan has boxes and boxes of Victor's papers, a lot of which Vicky gave him, stored, guess where? In the attic of his house. Oh, so what am I supposed to do, just go ask him for a look-see? Sloan left for Tidewater yesterday. And his house has been closed up for weeks. Look, I don't get out of... That's the breaking and entering part. Mm -hmm. I can check into somebody's attic. I can do that. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, what are you going to be doing besides giving me suggestions about how I can break the law? I am having a drink with Arthur Vandenberg, and I will find out everything I can about the trust. Oh, dear. He's here now. So, why don't you take this plate and finish eating someplace else? Thanks. Not hungry anymore. I will be in touch. Bye. Arthur! Oh, it's so wonderful to see you. Well, with a greeting like that, dare I assume that you're ready to write the book I'm asking for? Oh, come on. Make my day. Tell me you'd love to tell your side of the Victor Lord mystery. I'm thinking about it. Excellent. <laughs> but the more I do think about it, the more certain questions arise. I wonder if you couldn't help me with them. Those rapes at the hospital. You remember all that, Dad? Well, they finally got the guy. And guess what? It wasn't me. For the first time in my life, I'm innocent. How about that, huh? Matter of fact, I was the one who finally figured out who it was. And now, it's over. Now, hold on. Now, I know this must come as big news to you. That your son isn't as rotten as you thought. But let me tell you something, Dad. This isn't the first time you've been wrong about me. Trust me on this. You've been wrong about me plenty. And I know that I have screwed up plenty. But I finally figured something else out, too. I've been screwed plenty, too. Are you? Nothing was ever good enough for you, Dad. If I wanted to be your son, I had to be the biggest, the strongest, the toughest, the superstar. Big shot. That's a loser's game, Dad. And I'm not playing anymore. And I didn't come here to ask you if that's okay or to tell you that I'm sorry or anything. I don't even care what you think. You're not hurt. 
hurting me anymore. I just wanted to let you know that. And from here on in, I'm not just your son. I'm me. Just me. that you need your rest. Good luck. Yes, Tom. Please don't go. I don't want to hurt you. What I'd like to do is write a partial outline. Don, look. This is going to be another lecture about how I'm no good. You can forget about it, okay, because I'm out of here. Like you say, okay, well, that's in the past. And um, I'm trying to put all of that behind me. Why don't we just forget about it, okay? Right now, you gotta concentrate on getting better. if I don't invite you in, Tina. <laughs> Why? You got the Marine Corps waiting for you in the bedroom? No. In fact, I am on my way out. Let's get something straight, Larry. Mm -hmm. Can we keep it short? Sure. I'm not sweet like Luna is. Really? Luna told me how you're using cord instead of a blanket to keep you warm this winter since you lost out when you tried to steal Max. You remember how you tried to wreck Luna and Max's marriage? You made everybody's life miserable, and you still wound up a loser? Is there a point to all of this? Sure. Seeing you with Cord really upsets Luna. Oh. 